Josiah, just wondered what you thought of Cameron Thomas uh, scoring 25 for them. And, and obviously he was kind of that difference at the under eight where they drew the inbounds for him and he got the three point play and had a couple of more quick baskets because it was a 10 point game that he kind of turned into a 17 point game. Yeah, I think he's a, a very talented player. Um, and we knew going into the game that he uh, was going to score the ball, going to get shots up and we just tried to contain him. Uh, I think we did a good job of that in the first half. I think he was one for six. Um, if I'm correct, I don't know how many free throws he had, but um, he does a good job of, of getting the getting to the foul line and get to a spot where he wants to shoot it. Um, yeah, he's he's talented. We didn't we didn't get the job done personally. I didn't get the job done, and we didn't get the job done as a team today on him. So, Zai, how frustrating are these inconsist inconsistencies over the last few weeks? Kind of the ups and downs, kind of from everybody. Yeah, it's definitely very frustrating, um, and I think. I know for a fact to get to where we want to go, the maturity level um, has to has to come up. It has to start with us um, as, as guys, me, Folky, Eve, Santi, guys who've been here, guys who played um, for the freshmen to, to look up to us and, and to see that we're mature and consistent in our work. And I don't think that we have that yet. Um, and as leaders, uh, as a leader of this team, I have to, I have to first have that to, um, and second to require it from my team. But I just think that for us right now to get to where we want to go we just have to be a lot more consistent a lot more mature and i mean we don't really have much more time to keep talking about it but uh if we want to we know what we want to do we want to national, want a national championship and so our maturity level definitely has to raise up to another level and josiah i mean to, to go with that i mean is it a weird position for you to be in to, to be just a sophomore but you know having guys on the team looking for you to lead and you know, with, with how much obvious talent Keon and Jaden have, how much responsibility do you feel to, to be a leader for them? To Because it's pretty obvious, you know, they're going to have a big impact on how far you go. Um, At first, it was kind of tough. It was a, a, it's been definitely been a learning experience for me, but I, I, I think that it's it's something I've gotten used to over the over the days, over the weeks. And so I'm really trying to fill that role as best as I can, um, my leadership role. And just for the guys who are younger than me and for the rest of my team, I just want to be the guy who's consistent and um, there for them when they need it because you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days. You're going to win some games, you're going to lose some games. But for us to get to where we want to go uh, and win a national championship, we have to have a leader that we can count on, and I want to be that for this team. And um, for those guys in particular, Jaden and Keon, just having their back um, when coaches is being – coach on them, he's coaching them like he should uh, to get the best out of them, just knowing that uh, they are talented and, and nobody can ever take that away and um, forget what the scouting report is on them just to, to go hoop and, and to be them because that's what we brought them here for. Wes and Mike. Josiah, I know that, that everybody sort of has to look in the mirror first before talking about anything else or anyone else, but you know, 12 months ago, no one could stop John Fulkerson from scoring and, and from playing in, in the post and, and kind of running games that way. Is there anything y'all can do as his teammates to to sort of rile him up or get him dialed back in? Because it's like you said, it's late in the season now. Um, I know that Folky, uh hasn't been uh, – he, he said it himself, he hasn't been happy with his play. And us as teammates, we just got to be there and have his back. We know what he's capable of. We saw it all, all year last year, and so it's not like – He's a different person. We, ju we just got to get him back to playing um, John Fulkerson in basketball from last year. And we know he's more than capable of that. Uh, we just, for us as teammates, um, we're going to have his back. And coaches is, is on him heavy. Uh, we know that. And so we don't really want to put any more added pressure on him. We just want to be there for him. Uh, we know what he's capable of. And we, we know it's going to come sooner or later, but we'd rather have it sooner rather than later. Josiah, you said that. Folky said he's not happy with his play. When did he say that, and and how did you guys respond to it? Um, and also, is your wrist okay? Um, yeah, Folky. Uh, it was probably one day in film that he said it, um, and it's just watching film, watching because we do a lot of watching film from games of last year, and then games of this year. And you can just see there's a difference in his his mojo. We're trying to get him back to having that that. Um, that mojo that he had, that swag that he was playing with last year. And um, yeah, my wrist is just sprained. I'm good. Finish up with David Pascal. Josiah, Rick just said that one of the more frustrating aspects to coaching is, is when you never know what you're going to get out of your team. 
do you ever sense that as a player when you wake up in the morning or when you step on the floor? Do you are you ever like, wow, I wonder what kind of performance we're going to give today or tonight? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I know that some in, in the past in games we've been out tough. I didn't I didn't expect that to happen, but I think that as the season has gone on, we know what to expect, and I, I we know what to expect from this team. But we got to realize that every game is different. Um, coach said that in the locker room today that not every team's going to play like say Kentucky did or Georgia did. Every game is different, and I think we have to be prepared for that. And I think that. Sometimes we think that, oh, we did this last game, so we're going to be able to do it this game. And I don't think that we fully understand the scouting of the game that the, the coaches, we, our coaches do, that other coaches do. And so um, I think that we have to be able to adjust better. Thank you. Thank you, Josiah.